today we're going to take a look at the 7 inch electric trailer brake assembly kit. It includes the left hand and right hand side brake assemblies for 2,000 pound axles. Now these are electric brakes which are easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Basically they require just an electric brake controller. We do sell those separately on our website. There is no actuator or hydraulic lines necessary with electric brakes. Now on these brakes they use an automotive grade friction material on the pads. It's molded to the brake shoes and since they're fully bonded they're not riveted to the shoes. Gives you a lot longer life, more braking torque. What's nice on these on the pads, the edges, they actually taper the edges and then they do a circular grinding of the pads which gives you less chance of them cracking or crumbling that could lead to mechanical lockup. Now these are manual adjustment brakes so they do require a periodic manual adjustment. You adjust it with the gear right down here. Now they use a fine tooth brake adjustment gear on these brakes which allows for more precise setting and there is no break in period needed following your initial adjustment. The backing plates right here, you can see they are nice and E-coated e backing plates, which will help resist wear and corrosion. And they also include a rubber adjuster plug. Basically, the opening down here is, usually, is where you put your adjustment tool through to adjust your brakes. And these include the plugs that will cover these access holes. Helps keep dirt and grime out of your assemblies and off the brake shoes. Now this part number will include both the left-hand driver side and the right-hand passenger side brake assembly. Now the mounting hardware, these do have the bolts on it, but you do need the nuts and the lock washers. We do sell those parts separately on our website. Now these brakes are QAI and CSA certified. Electric brakes do require the two wires right here in the back. They need to be connected. One goes to a ground, the other goes to brake feed for power, and they're white wires, so you can use either wire for either function. <clears throat> Specs on this, the, they will fit most standard hub and drum assemblies including Dexter, Lippert, and Alco. The dimensions on them are 7 inches by 1 and a quarter inches wide. And where those measurements are, the 7 inches would be the diameter. So if we take a ruler, we go from one edge of the brake shoe to the other edge, here's your 7 inches. The 1 and a quarter inches is the width of the pad on the shoe. There's your 1 and a quarter inches. Now these are a mounting flange bolt pattern of 4 bolts. They do use wheel size of 10 inch, 12 inch, or 13 inch. And again, the axle rating they fit on is 2,000 pound axles. And one last thing I do want to mention to you to tell the difference between the left hand assembly and the right hand assembly. Now on a new assembly, it'll have a, t a sticker which will tell you that, but if the sticker wasn't there, the easiest way to tell is look at the length of the pad on the brake shoe. So this one goes from here to here. This one all the way from here, all the way to here. This is longer. This one's the shorter pad. The shorter pad is the primary shoe. That will always face the front of the trailer. So that tells you this is the right-hand passenger side. And if you look on the left-hand driver's side, it's the same way. This pad goes here to here. This one all the way here to here. That's longer. That's your shorter primary shoe. Again, so that will mean this is your driver's left-hand driver's side assembly. But that should do it for the review on the 7-inch electric trailer brake assembly kit. Includes a left hand and right hand side brake assemblies for 2,000 pound axles. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.